This is the new Honda Civic Type R and what an upgrade or update this is. This is exactly what I wanted to see in the Honda Civic R comparing it to the previous generation which is exactly what we're going to do in this video. You're going to have a look at the front, side, rear and the interior and last but not least I'm going to show you what could have been made even better in the Honda Civic Type R because I think Honda had a concept about seven or eight years ago that to me was peak Honda Civic R Type R a hatchback design. I'm going to show you that in Photoshop as well. So this is the new Honda Civic obviously for 2023 and it has more power than any Civic Type R before it and the most powerful Civic was the EU, EU and Japan spec last generation that has 316 horsepower so this might have maybe 320, hopefully maybe 350 or something like that. No price yet on, uh, on this car, that will all be revealed later with the spec and tech. So what we're gonna focus on in this video is of course this design and what I think of it. I think this is a fantastic update by uh, Honda from the previous generation because if you watched my videos before, you know that I said that the Honda Civic Type R, the previous generation, is peak over styling yes it's a honda yes it's japanese they can add some styling and have some fun with the design but i think they went even the japanese they went a little overboard with <laughs> the previous generation type r which we have up here because there's so much going on just have a look at this lower part for example lower half of the front end how many small details are happening in this design we have these four slots i'm not sure what is fake and what is real here you can see that this entire air intake supposedly it looks like it's all covered up so this is not functional at all but it looks pretty cool it looks pretty sporty maybe if you're 18 years old and you're looking for a sporty looking car this would be your choice but we do have a functional air intake down here because we can see the big intercooler right there which i think looks really cool i don't think this fog light suits the housing that it sits in however the top part looks a lot better than the lower part of the front end in my opinion i think this uh, framing of the front end graphics it looks pretty nice has some clear honda dna in it but we still have a bunch of different plastic pieces going on inside of this framing that we don't have in the new version the new version looks absolutely fantastic i think it's going to be a great value car because when you think of it the last civic type r cost around 37 38 dollars this will probably cost similar but a little bit more maybe 40 and just look at how good this thing looks it's such a it feels like it's grown up from the previous generation but not just grown up i feel like it's uh, gone back in time with this design and cleaned it up make it more beautiful to look at while retaining the sportiness that we need to have in a Civic Type R. This is supposed to be a fun car, not too serious. And I think they did that exactly that with this design. I really like how they cleaned up this area. I mean, just have a look at the corner of the previous generation, compare it with the, how clean the new one is. We have a single line going in here and beautifully chamfered as well. We have a nice tiny chamfer going around here, sticking out with the body color, creating a nice base for the, uh, the corners of the front end. And we have now this intake morphing into the very functional and very big front lower part here. And you can still see the intercooler sitting in there nicely. And you can still tell that this is nothing else but a Civic because the outline for the top part graphic retains the same framing as we have in the previous one, but it looks a lot cleaner and a lot gro more grown up, as I said, than the previous generation up there. The previous generation just had too many harsh edges. You have this crashing into this piece. You have this little tiny piece that I don't really know what it's there for. Probably, I mean, just styling, just because it kind of looks cool, I guess. That's crashing into this piece. The corners are very harsh and sharp. Then we have a different type of graphics in the outer parts. But here, everything just comes together. And everything now has a connection to each other. You can see that all the parts actually belong to the same car in the new Civic Type R. Not just the Civic Type R, but also the new Civic. Compare that to the previous generation. Let's have a look at the side view. And here we can see the massive 
big, beautiful wing that we have on the new generation right there. The previous one was uh, maybe, I mean, it, it looks cool, maybe a little too aggressive or, or sharp. It looks like you can use this as a knife and just cut up some onions with. You have this shoulder line now dipping down, and this is something that I actually like in the previous generation because it makes it feel stylized, it makes it feel Japanese type of styling philosophy. That's also something that we have in the concept that I'm gonna show you, which I think was peak Civic Type R design. I'm gonna show you that in at the end of this video. Then we have this line at the bottom, which I think still is in the new one, but in a different way. And you can see just how, how kind of messy the front end is with all the lines and sharp corners and graphics going on here that don't really connect with each other. This part does not connect anything in any way with the lower part in, in the front end. And we have the same style going on in the rear. Super sharp design. I do love these 20 inch wheels that we have. They actually downsized the wheels to 19 inch, but the size of the whole tire here is the same size because we have more sidewall on the new wheels, wheels and tires, which probably is gonna make it more comfortable and it's still gonna fill out the wheel houses in a nice way, which I think it does here. You don't have a lot of gap between the wheel and the wheelhouse, either in the front and, or in the rear. But we still have this nice line going from the front, more line flow in this design. This line going into the front end, into the side, and then coming back a little bit, maybe somewhere here in the bumper, up here it looks like, so it has more of an angle at the, at the very end. Then we have this gorgeous shoulder line from the very corner of the taillight, going into the hood in this case, so it, it doesn't connect to the front headlight. Instead, it wraps around the front hood, which is totally fine because we, we still have that line wrapping all around the car. We have a bit of a different type of proportion here comparing it to the previous generation. I do prefer actually this generation more like a typical hatchback design where this end sits higher than it does on the new version. You can see that it kind of looks a little bit like it's squatting in the, in the new generation compared to the old one. And it looks more like a sportback sedan than a hatchback. And in this case, when I look at Honda Civics, specifically the Type R, I wanted to have a proper hatchback design. I would actually love to see this design as it, uh, implemented on the sedan Civic. I think that would look really cool because if we look at it from a rear view, we have this massive wing now, which looks like it's more, it's been more thought out and probably more functional than this piece up here. I'm not sure about that, but it looks like it. And it also looks like this wing suits the new design a lot better. You could not put this wing on the new generation because this has the same styling as the rest of the car. And when I think about it, the old generation, it has a good continuity in its design. Everything about the old generation is overstyled. The designers just went crazy with all the lines and uh, air vents and fake vents and stuff on the old one. And in the new one, we continue that trend. I think every single piece here, every single graphic feature suits the car and it looks like it belongs to the same car. Just look at the cleanup of the lower part of the uh, of the half, lower half of the rear end. Look at how messy the old one is, overstyled, and now we have the same kind of uh, change that we have in the front end. We have the same change in the back, and this diffuser with these angles. 45 degree angles of these wings with sharp corners are now subtle and smooth and we have this integration this base for this outlet right here beautifully done and some more subtle soft curvature in the body but also in the graphic features of the car the diffuser sticking all the way to this point all the way to the wheel arch creating a nice solid base for the, the rear end of the car. I really do like this wing. I think this wing is, uh, ha it kinda has to symbolize the funness of the Civic Type R. It doesn't need this wing on the car, but they decided to add it anyway, just because it looks cool. And that's what the Type R is all about, just having fun and making it look fun to drive, like a fun car to drive. I do, however, prefer these wheels 
over the new ones. I think these would look better in 20 inch, but as I said, it's probably a lot more comfortable for everyday driving, having 19 inch wheels with a bigger sidewall on the tire. Now let's have a look at the interior. And this is also obviously a massive change in the new generation comparing it to the old one. We don't have this waterfall design in the center anymore. You can see that we have more horizontal line cutting everything off and separating the different features of the interior, specifically when you have a look at the air outlet that are positioned here. It feels a little more dated than it does in the new one for sure. And we also have dual climate control and Android Auto Apple CarPlay wireless in the new Honda Civic Type R. In addition to this new nine inch infotainment screen in the middle, which looks like it's been glued on there. It doesn't look very integrated, but I really don't mind it in this case because everything else is so clean around it. So this looks like it sits properly and it's kind of separated a little bit from the rest of the interior, which is totally fine because we still have a nice cozy house for the gauge cluster right here, even though it is all digital, which I don't mind when you have a uh, thought out house for the gauge cluster and not just continue this, uh, this uh, iPad and stretch it out to the left and create one single big screen that you put on the dash. This looks a lot better than that in my opinion. I didn't have anything against the, the old interior. I think this doesn't look over stylized as the exterior did. This looks like a place that I really wanna sit in and have some fun. You have the manual transmission, you have the manual in the new one as well as you can see. You also have this gorgeous red interior with red carpeting which is something that I would definitely get if I was buying this uh, Honda Civic Type R. I think it looks really cool and it adds some more sportiness to the interior as well. It makes it feel special compared to the normal Civics that you have out there. But now I wanna show you a concept that I was really hoping that Honda would build, but they never did. And that is the concept from 2014. Just have a look at this beauty. We have a proper hatchback design, first of all. We have a rake going down with almost one single line into the hood, creating this hatchback design. And we have a higher sitting rear end with this wing that's integrated in a such a cool way with the taillights inside of this wing. Then we have the shoulder lines, the muscly fenders, going in the front and in the rear as well, continuing into the doors, having some connection to the center part here as well with this piece and also the air, air outlet in the front and fender that is now become uh, a part of the Civic Type R design. I really like these proportions. This is to me a proper looking hatchback and it looked like they were so close to production with this concept. Here you can see just how nicely the taillights are integrated in this wing. Then you have a double wing cutting the glass in the center as well with this diffuser that is different from the diffusers that we have now. With the, we have the three pipes in the center. Here we have four bazooka tailpipes in each corner with the F1 inspired. I think this is probably a fog light down there. Just a beautiful design and this is what it looks like, the concept in real life. It did, they did a fantastic job turning this concept into an actual car. I think they didn't lose any of the stance and the plantedness of this car, specifically looking at this sketch and going down to the uh, concept down here. It's such a cool looking design. And to me, as I said, this was for sure peak Civic Type R and I really hoped they would put this into production. But unfortunately, they went in a different direction in the end. Thank you.